up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all. And today, um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but the audio quality should be a little bit more crisp, a little bit more refined, and the little rinky dink noise that used to happen whenever it was quiet, y'all probably can't hear it right now. I know the difference until it gets quiet. But I do have a new mic. I did just buy a new mic and uh Hopefully, like I said, it's better quality for y'all. But, a little backfire. Y'all haven't actually gotten a video from me on the Genesis since I installed my headers. I've been doing a lot of other things, including work, working on the Miata, and just trying to get my life to be a little bit more stable. And yeah, I've just not been really doing anything with the Genesis other than daily driving it. And the car has been pretty nice to me. I'm glad that I'm not having the problems that a lot of people tend to have, it's like such as like motor issues and stuff. But I mean, I always tell you, if you take care of your car, your car will take care of you. I have done my fair share of oil changes and tend to not beat on the car as bad as I know some people do. They rev it off, they bounce off the rev limiter and stuff like that all the time. And that's just not something that I want to do with the car, at least not yet anyways, but I don't know. <laughs> I have to say I do like these backfires though, even though the exhaust will be changing soon. So look out for that. Like today I just wish I did not have to go to work I have to go to work in a few hours so I'm headed to Mikey's house because he asked me to drop off his jack stands which I've been using for the longest and uh yeah he has to change his wheels he's, he has new tires for his wheels hopefully that will help out with his traction issues he's been having because the car has been sitting up forever and softer compound tires they uh tend to dry ride a little bit quicker if you don't use them so I'm going to his house and oh yeah have a few things I need to install and something from Megan Racing and the other thing is from 3.8 Performance so shout out to y'all and let me just go ahead and skip to that. Alright, pulled up finally. About to drop off these jack stands but I need to use them one more time because I have some that I need to be installed on the car. They just so happen to be laying over in the grass right here. I got one thing, like I said, from Megan Racing. Oh my goodness. Well, I think Mikey took it out the box, so I got some stickers. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put this sticker on my car somewhere. I don't want it to be like too noticeable, but then again, it might be too noticeable. My car look clean. That thing look clean on the camera. The looper in the garage, but Mikey, what you do with the, uh, with the car? Right. Oh, here it is. Y'all probably saw when I walked by. Boom! Got me a new motor mount. Not motor mount, transmission mount. New transmission mount. It's not a solid mount, but it is a solid-ish. What is it? Like a urethane or... What is it? Like De Oh, <laughs> Delrin, whatever it is from Megan Racing. Shout out to Megan Racing for making a quality product like this. I looked at it and yeah, everything seems to be fine with it. But I need to jack the car up and then put it on jack stands and jack the transmission up. Well, get the jack on there so it won't move whenever I loosen up the mount. But about to go ahead and start with that. And then I'll show y'all what I have in this little package right here. Mikey, what's up with this? This, man, this man, don't mean nothing? That man don't know how to use a jack. I'm saying you don't have a, it ain't regular. That's how you tighten it and loosen it. Yeah, I know that. But what this you just mean, this That just mean the op, I mean, cause I was looking for this thing. That is, I, that's broke? what I'm saying, it's cheap. It's you, a, it was, it you didn't broke it. It wasn't but a little notch anyway. I'm thinking like, man. I knew then I knew it was going to break. You didn't have broken anyway.
right, finally got it off. This is the old one. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but Mikey is able to move this thing however he wants because of all the old rubber that's on it. And that's no bueno, no good. This one, on the other hand, this one doesn't move at all. It's more solid and it's just gonna give me an overall better feel without all the noise because this is still like very hard rubber like I told you before. But, I mean, check out the air mags, bro. Check out the air mags. <laughs> Ooh, the air mags on fleek, ain't it? <laughs> all right, got everything bolted back up and now it's time to open up this little package of mine. See what I got. Went on ahead and purchased myself one of these. Oh, we got some stickers in here. We got some stickers in here, 3.8 performance. But went on ahead and purchased myself an engine leash from 3.8 performance. I think his name is Dustin Davis. So shout out to you. Glad you uh started making these and getting them out. But I believe this part goes right here under these and then the actual, this part, it's gonna go straight through this little circular piece right here. And uh, it has a washer on one side, so it won't go all the way through it. And it'll just bolt up to there, and that's the engine leash. We got kind of curious to see uh, how the motor actually moves without this on there, because I personally have never even seen it myself. But I'm gonna set the camera up and start it up, rev it a little bit, see what the motor does. And then after I put this on there, we're gonna do it again and test and see if it helps even a little bit. Pretty decent in install if you ask me, but uh... <laughs> this dude right here, this man, he got my seat all the way back, but we about to head to Sonic and I'm about to see if this does anything for my shifter, hopefully it does, like I said, if not, I'll be pretty bummed out to be honest, but I don't believe I'm gonna be bummed out, so let me get all ahead on this road. Initial impression, thing looks good and neutral. At first it was shaking like very bad, and now I can barely even feel it. I can't even feel it at all, actually. Can't feel it, hmm. Caught smoking a little bit. Okay. Dang, bro, why I gotta go to work? <laughs> On days like today, I just wanna call in, but you know, I need more money, more money, more car parts. And so, hey, gotta go to work. I think, uh, I think this install video was a success and I'm glad I finally got it done. I'm glad, cause I like, I've been putting this off for a while, actually. I've been had the mount and uh, I just recently, probably about a week and a half to almost two weeks ago, bought the engine leash and I figured why not today go ahead and get it done. Woo, but I need to do some hard accelerations to see how this thing is. And uh, 
After that, I think I'm gonna be ending the video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what y'all wanna see next on the vlog. And uh, let me know just how am I doing? Like, uh, how's your day? How are you doing? And just all of that kind of stuff. I'm kind of swerving because Mike is taking me on this curvy little road right here. But I don't know. Time for some hard pulls. And always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank y'all for watching.